Hi, welcome. I'm Jennifer with Sublimely Align, and today we're going to talk about the rib cage. But it does get more interesting than that because we are going to talk about how rib cage position impacts your uh, core strength and specifically the abdominals. So, if you are coming to us from the YouTube platform and you want to know about more about the benefits of a neutral rib cage, that lives over at my blog sublimelyaligned.com. But now we're just going to dive right in to review the bony landmarks for a neutral rib cage. Um, so your rib cage surrounds your torso. It protects all our vital organs. It starts just above the clavicle and it goes down to around the belly button. But we're going to find the lowest most rib. So you're just going to kind of poke in at the fleshy part between the top of the iliac crest We'll think of this as their hip bones and um, the lowest rib. So once you find the top of the iliac crest, you can just kind of push in, walk the fingertips up, and then walk them around at that lowest rib until you're at the front of the rib cage. This help is helpful at this point to find a mirror because we're going to look in the side profile to see where that bottom is relative to the pelvis. So for the neutral rib cage, you want your lowest rib stacked over the pelvis. And you may be able to see here that my rib cage is out in front of my pelvis. This is a really common alignment. So if you, you are finding that your ribs are out in front of your pelvis, you want to think of just relaxing through the back and letting the low, low ribs, well, the rib cage, settle down. And you may be able to see the gathering of the material around my, rib, my waistband. And then let the rib cage settle back in space a little bit. So the back in space is sort of at the bra strap or heart monitor line. I'm going to do that again since this is a really common posture. So just letting the ribs settle down, letting the back musculature relax, and bring the ribs back in space. Uh, the second really common alignment is to have the ribs behind the pelvis. So for this, um, knowing the skill of neutral pelvis is great, but it's just as easy to just back that pelvis up until the weight of the pelvis is over the heels as you simultaneously take the ribs forward in space and check that they are in fact uh, down and back in space to settle over the pelvis. So the reason why it's really important where your ribs are is because your abdominal muscles attach to your rib cage. So if your rib cage is not in neutral, then you know that your abdominal muscles are not at their optimal length. And all of the lovely benefits that flow from having muscles at the optimal length are not maximized, which is why you may be finding that um, your core is weaker than you would ideally like. And because we are at uh, tensegrity systems, this is going to affect the back musculature. So let's take the chest lifted position, which we think of in North America as the are good, and I'm going to air quote good because um, I would argue that it's good posture, but we sort of automatically lift our chest for good posture. And what that does is that really puts some of the back musculature in a, a habitual shortened position. So this may be part of what is creating any back pain or ache. And as you let the ribs settle down, you really want to notice a couple things. So one of them is the abdomen. You want to notice if just simply putting the ribs over the pelvis uh, produces a little more tone in the abdomen. And once you're sucking in, it's just that the position of the rib cage should create um, a little bit of innervation of those muscles. And also noticing what's happening through the back when you do that. If you have been a chronic chest, chest lifter or rib thruster, um, you may find that letting those muscles relax initially are, is difficult. So you may need to toggle um, that sort of rib drop a little bit with allowing the back just to relax. So this is a great skill to lay on to the neutral pelvis and glute strength uh, video that we did through YouTube, as well as the stance skill um, or the get the most of standing around YouTube video. And it's also something that can be woven throughout your day. So um, with all the literature around the detrimental effects of being still, this is a nice subtle but very effective way of moving your body and um, changing the bony positions changes the muscles in the game. So you're getting different musculature participating um, throughout the day in whatever it is you're doing as well as more blood flow. So a nice easy way to start to integrate more movement in your uh, daily lives. So I'd love to know how it goes. Let me know.